Today we are going from this to this and this. I'm gonna show you how to change your location using only lighting. Let's go. Today we are going on set of a fashion shoot, but honestly you can use any of these tips for your music videos or what have you. But in this case, because it's fashion, we have to look at what is the subject wearing and how do we complement that the best with the set, the lighting, and everything we're doing. Let's go check it out. All right, shooting fashion videos. It's one of my favorite things because there are literally no rules. The only thing you have to do is make the clothes look good. And there's different ways you can do that. Dana's outfit is blue. How do I complement this with lighting? Make sure that your lighting complements your subject and complements the location. Except we can't actually put any lights through the windows. So I have to work with the sunlight that I have. So windows naturally have a daylight color temperature. It's a cool color, but it's not all the way pushed into blue. If you want your windows to have a blue sheen coming through them, you do need to change the color temperature of your camera. We went all the way down to 2500, therefore changing those windows, which were nice and white, into deep, deep blue. I added an LS1 panel, which has a really wide spread, and I just put it on the ground with a battery. By putting it on the ground and having that wide spread, I amplified the power of the windows and made it look like the window light was even more powerful. For my key light, I still wanted a nice, soft front key. The best way to do that is with a china ball, or in this case, the Aperture Lantern. The 300D2 that we put in the Aperture Lantern is also daylight balanced. We clamped two layers of CTO, half CTO and full CTO onto that lantern so that the frontal light was nice and warm. And lastly, because that light was so toppy, we just found a gold bounce in the studio and bounced that gold up into her. I used fog to create that atmospheric look, but in this case, I also didn't want the fog to fully dissipate. I wanted wefts of fog to actually be caught up in the beams because again, it's a fashion video. It could be whatever you want it to be. So why not have visible fog, right? So that is our high budget setup using the window lights, simulating additional window light with the LS1, having a lantern clamped up top in the rafters and doing a little bit of a gold bounce on the ground. Let's see that come together. For the more budget setup, if you can't afford a cinema camera, if you can't afford really crazy lighting, there are things that you can do. First of all, I am shooting on a Canon T3i. We placed four Aperture MCs on the line directly behind the couch so that they're not visible from the camera, but so that they give the biggest punch behind the couch. And either on the light itself or using an app, you can dial it in to whatever color you want it to be. We don't have a giant lantern with a 300D with gels up here. We just used an HR672 light, which is a small LED panel. And we just put in the CTO insert into it because again, we wanted the light to have more of an orange feel to counteract with the blue in the background. And the gold bounce, we actually kept the same as in the other setup. So that's it for your budget camera, budget lighting version of this setup. Let's see what it looks like. For the second lighting setup, we had a different outfit. It was darker, it had this red window pane pattern on it, so we wanted to keep the location the same, but change the lighting to complement the outfit. I also wanted to highlight the windows in the background and create more lines by putting a big rectangular painting right down the center. The first thing we have are these awesome Aperture MC lights that we used in the previous setup. The cool thing about them, besides the fact that they could be any color you want, is that they are magnetic. And we have this metal frame on this window. So instead of lighting the windows up like this, they could actually be practicals in our set. In order to supplement those little MC panels, we have this Nova 300C panel, which works on the same app system as the little guys. And we wanted to match 
the exact color temperature. However, the Nova created a hot spot underneath the couch. So we created this little diffusion that is far enough away from the couch that you can't see it, but cuts out a lot of that light in the middle, making it softer and a more even spread. In the previous setup, we did a very soft key. In this one, I wasn't afraid of going into shadow. I wanted a really hard key. So we did a 300D with a Fresnel mount. The Fresnel is going to focus the light. It's gonna make it throw a lot farther. The other thing that the Fresnel mount is great for is mounting the barn doors. So with the barn doors, we were able to close it up so that there wasn't too much spillage on the floor, but it was all concentrated on our model and on the couch. We put a full CTO and then a half CTO gel, which is color temperature orange gel, to change the light, make it a little bit more orange, so that we could get a really, really cool color contrast happening in the scene. You might have noticed we didn't use fog in this setup. Fog is really cool and it makes a lot of setups really ethereal and mystical. We used it in the previous setup because it made sense there. Sometimes you want that if it's a club scene or if it's sci-fi or if it's something like that. Here, because we are throwing hard light far across the room, it just doesn't make sense to have fog because the fog would actually highlight those light trails. All right, let's take a look at how the shot turned out. That is how we lit this fashion video. Some takeaways are number one, make sure that you light for the outfit. Know what the outfit looks like and plan your lighting around it. Number two, look at your location and make your location work for you. And number three, know when to use fog and know when not to use it. It's not always necessary in every setup. <laughs>